I say, Havisham, our uh, Lauren is home for the season. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, my lord. Right then, long time since we frolicked as lads on the playing fields of Eton. Pity you got sacked, old boy, but uh, 
She was the headmaster's daughter. What can one do, eh? Be a good fellow. Bring up two bottles of Chateau de Chem. Yes, my lord. And will Master Lauren <laughs> be taking up his old digs on the second floor? Yes, of course. The satin sheets. And, uh, and yes, uh, a rubber sheet as well. Quite. And bring up all his old books and toys from the cellar. It's braised pheasant for dinner, heavy on the garlic. Ugh. Right. Come into the study, old friend. A lot of loving, a lot of fighting, and a lot of colonoscopy since then. Ah, oh, we. Oui. How is the queen? Il est bien. And Camilla? Ah, not so much. Well, I could have predicted that. She's always been volatile. And of course, Charles can't control her. Would this be Master Lauren's beverage receptacle? No? Very well, then. Good night, Master Lauren. Pleasant dreams. Hello? Who is speaking? Avia? Avia! Oh! Avia, mon ami! Longtemps. Comment allez-vous? Uh, candy. <laughs> candy. What a woman, eh? Quoi? Maintenant? Mais c'est toi heures du matin? On the other hand, the night is young. Don't pain. Excellent choice. I'll see you shortly. Au revoir. And where were we, mon chéri? Come to me. The night is full of stars and music.
into dark pools of amethyst kissed by the moonlight. I'll put a sock in it, Fred. as it was in Paris.
Someone really ought to tidy up a bit around here. Servants doing damn all. Pity. Oh, I am dying. Under the weather, old chap. Hair of the dog? He's rather off his feed this morning, my lord. May I suggest a trip to the vet? Come along, there's a good fellow. No, 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 no! Well, Xander, I can call you Xander, can't I? You see, he needs more exercise and fresh outdoor activity. You can't just let him sit in front of that television all day long. Now, what he needs is some exercise. Oh, you know, like running or tennis or mm, skateboarding. <laughs> We got a situation down here. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, get an ambulance. Yeah, well, forget an ambulance. You're gonna need a bottle of Clorox and a spatula. <sighs> Come on, little fella. <laughs> Hey, Doris, here's your boy. 
You going out with me, girl? Did hell freeze? Mm, no. You the last man on the planet? No. Is Rush Limbaugh coming over my house with a bucket of fried chicken? No. Then probably not. Poor little baby. You're so cute. Give mama a kiss, honey. Damn, you, what the f <laughs> Right, well. That's done it. I hope you're satisfied. Dear boy, I think you might do better if you take interest in reading the classics. Haversham and I have provided a library for you. As we had him read more, it became apparent that Erskine Caldwell novels were perhaps best avoided. It proved unwise to let him stay awake all night drinking beer and reading Tennessee Williams' plays. STELLA! On letting him watch The Godfather, it became apparent that he wanted to make me an offer I couldn't refuse. He became somewhat over-identified with the film Gone with the Wind. Esker God is my witness. I'll never be angry again. Regrettably, it all became too much for him. That's when the unthinkable happened. So sorry, old fellow. He's rather high-strung, you know. I hope this will help things along. No need to involve the police, I trust. I say, Your Lordship, it's an invitation to the Polo Championship. Splendid, dear fellow. You look spot on. Ugh. So please, the women. I will uphold our honor. Long life in the quick death. Rose-lipped maidens, light-foot lads.
against you in the polo match. I am a thunderhoof. Well, Carlos, really, in another life, but I digress. I am a prize polo pony, despoiler of consenting mammals, and a very pretty boy. <laughs> a spit on your polo match. A spit on your polo team. And most of all, I spit on you. We will grind you to fine yellow dust. It's a sunny day here at Wellington Polo Grounds. Today's match, Team Slug plays against the Wellington Polo Club. You might say Team Slug versus Team Snub. Just a little levity there. A few of our favorites here on the field today. Juan Carlos Diego de Jesus de la Vega Arriba. <laughs> High school player, great crowd favorite. Gretchen. Mega guilt. Clean and sober for 20 minutes. Good job, Gretchen. Bring in those goals. Ali bin Amari Saruk El Oil Deal. His family owns Saudi Arabia. Hmm. Not batting on a full wicket there. Is that a dog on the field? I say Nigel. Get the dog off the field. Now, the players for Team Slug. Javier Octopus, a multi-handed player, you may say. Watch your pocket change. Azizul, a minor demon of the Babylon era, playing today for Team Snail. This fellow is hot, hot, hot. And last, well remembered from last year's after party, Candy. What a woman. Here's our referee, fresh from his triumph at the Alzheimer's annual croquet derby. Play ball! He's fast. He's smart. See, he is a clever fellow. He is jello. He is sticky, he is insignificant, and I am, how you say, magnificent, no? Like, nah. Yes, yes, you are a splendid magnifico. I will crush him. He will be, que es la palabra? Marmalade. <gasps> You make fun my accent? Oh no, your eminence. We will never dream of this. Muy bien. For a moment I thought 
Oh, never mind it. We will crush him like the yellow dog that he is. Yellow dog? Yellow dog? I show you yellow dog, motherfucker! Well, this fellow is hot, hot, hot! But don't break your soul to him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is incredible. This player is on fire today. No, actually the south goalpost is on fire. And we're done. The octopus now galloping. He's tiring, ladies and gentlemen. He's off. He's down. Oh, the ectoplasm manatee. Wait, wait. He's struggling. He has the ball. He's trying. He's trying. Ladies and gentlemen, the chorus pandemonium here at the match. The octopus has thrown the ball over the goalpost. Score for Team Snail, bring us all even. Dodge down. <gasps> Teammates giving their comrade a lift off the field. Clean up in aisle seven. <sighs> I cannot beat him. Agua, give me water. He is what? He is invertebrate? No spine? He has no spine? How does he, you know, witty ladies? You gotta keep after him, see? You gotta go for the ribs. Use your left. Punch him! Punch him! Punch him! Keep your right up. Don't let him rest. It was you, Charlie. It was you. Making me take them dives for the short end money. I could have had class. I could have been somebody. I could have been a contender instead of a bomb, which is what I am. Yeah, kid, we all gotta roll with the punches. Hmm. You're a nice boy. After the match, we go to my tent. We drink wine, we lie on the grass. We look at the stars. I'm 76 years old. Whatever. You got to see mama every night Oh, you won't see mama at all You got to eat his mama Hold her tight Oh, she won't be there when you call Thunderhoof is teeing off. 
I believe it's a number two motorized continuous oscillation driving wedge, favored by many players, now in the hands of a master. He's sighting. He swings. There we go. Well away and over the goalpost. One under par, giving the home team the lead. Azizul is eyeing the snail. Is he going to do it? Yes. He's going to kick the field goal. Crowd is tense now as Azizul rushes the snail. Here's the kick. It's going, 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 gone! Over the goalpost and wins it for Team Slug. Nigel? Nigel? Get in the van! Hurry! Nigel, you worthless sock! <laughs> Madame, this is a Thorn and Bathwell handmade shirt. Have you no shame, woman? Splendid game, old boy. We routed the bounders. Well served, old boy. Well served. Superlative, my lord. A proper trouncing. It was nothing. An afternoon's amusement. Too many more victories. God save the queen. To loose women. Long may they reign. Oh, je suis abusé. I must rest now. Good night. Sorry? Ce n'est pas possible? Vous connaissez? Je n'ai pas les gens. Quoi? Quoi? Vous avez les fonds? J'ai de pas de juste maintenant. Urgent business. I will always love you, more than ever, Sham. P.S. Thanks for the wine. I hope this defies expenses.
shall we meet again, yellow peril? <laughs> I say, Havisham, bring the motor round to the front. There's a good fellow. I want to go to town and pick up some copies of Barely Legal. Yes, my lord. What the fuck? Damn! Thank <laughs> you.